Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August. Spirits, what are the messages for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2020? Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. All right. Cancers, um, you guys need to be careful for this month of August in uh, how you communicate with others or the information that you are exchanging with other people in regards to how you express your emotions or how you're communicating. Uh, be mindful or careful uh, when it comes to dealing with... Um, Dealing with rumors is what they're saying. Um, so what they're saying is that if you guys, uh, for this month of August, specifically this month, if people start coming around you trying to give you information, trying to steer up something that has to do nothing with you, but more to do with other people, even if they make it seem like specific people uh you know, have been talking about you or have been saying things, try to stay away from that type of energy because I do feel that what they're saying here is the way you express yourself or the way you communicate may come out or may be received in a very different way. Um, now, they're also explaining, um, they're also explaining here anything that has to do with rumors, anything that has to do with like, uh, people making judgment of other people, a very small comment that you may, you may make may actually go back to the person that that comment was about and they may take it very personal. They may be either confrontational to you about that or they may feel a certain way towards you, like their perception of you completely changes. Um, and it could be someone that is close to you so this could be for those of you guys that are like you're close to your family your cousins your sisters your brothers that type of energy don't feed into that he said uh, he said she said type of thing because I feel that that's quickly going to be coming back around and you don't want to be left looking or being looked at as the person that started the rumors or as the instigator that's definitely not good energy so just be careful with that now what they are showing me here as well for a lot of you guys partnerships is going to be very important i want to say i want to say the second week of august i see a lot of renewed energy a lot of new beginnings or new partners coming in people really uh, like getting or you getting their attention you start to notice people uh, making more eye contact or you catch people looking at you that type of energy is what they're saying now keep in mind cancers are the opposite of capricorn and we have saturn pluto uh mars and jupiter in the in the 10th house which is capricorn sign so everything to do with finances with stability all of that is illuminated and it is amplified now you are the polar opposite of that of capricorn so again when we're talking about longevity when we're talking about partnerships uh around this time people that come into your life are more prone to being in your life long term versus something that is temporary so keep that in mind Keep an open mind, you guys, for those of you guys that are single or are starting today. Keep an open mind. Don't rush into relationships or don't rush into the passion. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm hearing is if a person is physically attracted to you, don't put all the eggs in that basket. Look for something or someone that has more of the qualities that you look for in a person. Passion is something temporary. It will quickly, um, it will quickly subside. What you're looking for in regards to relationships, if it's something long term that you're wanting or that you're desiring at this point in your life, then you need to look at 
what commonalities you guys have and share. So what they're saying is don't rush into bed with anyone, especially if it's someone that you really are wanting to start something that is going to be solid, okay? Uh, the reason why they're saying that could be because once you step outside uh, that line or once you take it to that, that other level of the physical connection, this person will quickly lose interest. So keep that in mind, you guys. All right, so I'm going to be pulling out three cards. Let's see what the energies for this month of August is going to be for you guys. Wow, okay. All right, so we have opposition, balance. Balance is something that is going to be very important. This can also represent sharing energy. Energy that we put out is exactly what we get back. We go back to that of communication. Uh, the miscommunication that could be received very not in a positive way and what they're saying is that anything you put out will quickly come back keep in mind uh, Saturn is in Capricorn karma um, so it's kind of like if you're trying to be two-faced even if it's accidental uh, people will know about that really quick so again you don't want to be put in an awkward position so stay away from rumors Opposition is all to do with, it relates with mirrors, interacts, um, makes conscious, manifest, disciplines, conflicts with, uh, conflicts with energy that is outside of your own. So again, you're prone to being caught up in something that has to do more with rumors than factual, than, than actual facts. So just be careful with that. You also do have the sun card here. So again, sun is all about relationships, blessings. Uh, the sun and opposition could represent, again, we go back to that of what your polar opposite is, which is that of the sign of Capricorn. So again, um, for some of you guys, partnerships is going to be very prominent and it's going to be playing out all the way to the end of this year. Now you also have Neptune dreams. Pay attention to your intuitions, imagination, the subconscious, um, it is going to be very, very strong as well as self-sacrifice ideal. So it's time to uh, stop self-sacrificing yourself for the sake of other people. It's time for you to try to make yourself a priority cancer for this month of August. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, you guys have a blessed month. Bye.